I just don't want to be ramped over the coals. I have no money coming in. I'm on food stamps. And so do you understand that the whether the government is shut down, that the child will still need to be supported next month? As that well? is absolutely correct. What is your rate of pay? My rate of pay is $34 an hour. Why did y'all calculate this at uh, minimum wage? And can you just state the name of the child or children that we're hearing reference to? Data Ewell. And you are the father of that child, is that correct? Yes, sir. And sir, you are currently employed. Is that correct? <laughs> you didn't finish, sir. My question Do you is, not sir, know where I'm employed? Again, sir, the question is, are you currently employed, sir? I am on leave without pay, sir. I, I had a work-related incident. I worked for the United States government. All right, sir. And um, the state has used the minimum wage for the calculation of support. Is that uh, your understanding today? Yes, sir. And so you have no other children under the age of 18. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And sir, you are um, currently having the children covered through your employer. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And is that at $61 per month? Sir, I pay three fifty four a month by weekly. Is that for more than just a child? I'm sorry, sir. Is that for more than just a child here in this matter? Who's else covered on that insurance, sir? That's my government insurance. I know it's high. Yes, sir. That covers my children, Cup Yule and Nico Yule and Jada Yule and myself, sir. That's a family medical plan through Aetna, through the United States Post Office. And sir, do you understand that the child's portion, uh, we've divided that to be at $61 per month? Uh, yes, but it, it doesn't calculate that way. But yes, I understand that you guys calculated that way. Yes, sir. And sir, um, the state has also um, calculated the dental insurance through your employer at $29 per month. Do you understand this as well, sir? Yes. Also, that is uh, lower than the amount what I pay. But yes, I did understand that the government did collect that. Yes, sir. And so do you understand, again, that the state has used a proportional share of the insurance um, to calculate this support? And we're not giving you credit for the entire amount because there's more than just this child covered through this um, insurance. Yes, sir. But the family plan through the post office is a standard family plan, no matter if it's one child or 10 children. I just want the state to know I'm not disputing how you calculate it, sir. I'm not trying to hold up the court's time. And sir, um, the state has calculated child support in the amount of $212 per month to begin on December the 1st, 2023. Are you in agreement to this amount, sir? Uh, the amount I am in agreement with, but I would ask the judge to uh, uh, grant me just a one month stay on that because I do work for the federal government. And the reason that my payments have stopped and is because it, it's a kind of a process to get things processed through my work. And so if we have a government shutdown in one week, that's going to hold me up. And I won't know that until next week. And I don't want to have to come back to court and ask the court to be delayed and so forth and so on. But I am asking the judge to at least grant me until January for those payments to start because of the circumstance. And sir, just to confirm, you do um, not know if the government is going to be shut down. Is that correct? No, sir. It, we will know on the 18th of November, sir. And sir, do you understand that the whether the government is shut down, that the child will still need to be supported next month? As that well? is absolutely correct. And I agree with that. I just want the state and the judge to know what's going on. And I don't want to start off on a bad note in December, knowing that I'm not getting any type of payments. I just want everyone to be aware of what's going on. Yes, sir. And as it relates to the retroactive support, the state has calculated retroactive support in the amount of $3,392 and requesting that you pay that back at $65 per month. Are you in agreement to that amount, sir? Copy that. Yes, sir. And sir, do you understand that the state is making this request to begin on December the 1st, 2023 as well? Yes, sir. And I would just ask the judge to, again, uh, grant me just a month leave on that. All right. Nothing further from this party owner. Okay. I'm, I'm, uh, at a loss, Mr. Tatum. Why did y'all calculate this at uh, minimum wage? And Matt, um, speak to the uh, party owner, Mr. Lomax. Can I question him about that? Mr. Lomax, uh, you say Mr. you work for the government. What is your rate of pay? My rate of pay is $34 an hour. I've been on LWAP for the last year and a half, two years, sir. You've been on what? Leave without pay. And why are you on leave without pay? I had a work-related incident that I'm trying to get paid for, sir. Uh, I had an accident at work. 
And so the government is just there. The paperwork snafu. So I had to go through the union and it's taking time for me to get my payments and I can't get any. So you're saying they're, they're not paying you anything. Absolutely nothing. I uh, uh, sent the state the evidence of that. Sent them my paycheck stuff, sir. I know it is a shame. I get no help though. Okay. And I read uh, just to let the judge know. I, I I cut the paperwork. I did not have a DNA. I'm not asking to hold up the court. I just don't want to. I'm already falling on a sword. You judge. I just don't want to be ramped over the coals. I have no money coming in. I'm on food stamps and I submitted all that to the state. So whatever number they came up with, uh, I, I, get, but at least I'm in agreement with something. I, I'm so I might think that I'm making a whole bunch. I'm not making anything judge. I haven't gotten anything in the last two years and I'm, I'm fighting with the government to get my payments now. Okay. The, uh, make sure what was the cash medical amount, Mr. Uh, Tatum. Just a moment, Charter. Cash Medical was, um, sorry here. But he's going to maintain the medical, isn't that correct? So uh, there shouldn't yeah. be a Cash yeah. Medical now. That's okay. correct, sir. The and he's going to also maintain the dental. Okay. Yes, I've never cut my children off my insurance, Sean. I and mean, just, just to be clear, Your Honor, because you might not know, when I do go back to work, it will be retroactive. They will take this money from me, my job for the insurance. So whatever the state is calculating on that uh, $65, it's going to be double, triple that when I go back to work, they're going to get their money back. And they're going to charge me that three fifty four. dollars Just to let you know, Judge. Well, see, that's my, that's where the conundrum is. Uh, if I put your child support at $212 per month, that's all they're going to be able to recover. They will not be able to recover anything above that. And that was the reason I was asking about the uh, pay, because they probably should set the child support based on $34, $34 an hour. And um, because that's, they eventually are going to have to pay you. You would think that, Judge. You would, you know, you know and I, I would pray to God for that. But I, I mean, I'm not going to put the judge in a situation to tell you me about how the state and the system works, sir. But the system sucks, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a participant of that. These people are trying to kick me out my job at this point in time. So in hindsight, uh, if the union doesn't do what the union is supposed to do, I can lose my job, and I don't get nothing but a big bill from the state, a child support. How old are your children? My my daughter will be 16 here in two weeks, sir. And my I son is still on my insurance, and he's 25, and Aniko is 22, and he's still on my insurance. So there's only one child that we're dealing with, and that's a 16-year-old. Yes, ma'am, sir. Okay. Who figured the child support, Mr. Tatum? Which one of your attorneys? We figured it based off of the minimum wage, being that he does not have any income, Your Honor, and we don't know exactly what will happen in the future as it relates to and he hasn't had income in over two years. Correct. And you've and seen I, you've seen something to that effect? Yes, I sent them check stubs. And yes, Your Honor, and that's what was testified to today as well. Uh, but if you give me just one moment, Your Honor. Uh, so, to honor, Your Honor, you can get a just a quick grasp. My Venmo payments also I sent them, and it showed everything up until the incident of my accident at work. So I have been making payments prior up until that. And which agency do you work for, sir? USPS, sir. Postal Service. Yes, sir. Hi, good afternoon. Mr. Tatum is going to prepare an order, a UFSA order that uh, child support $212 per month beginning uh, January 1, 2024. Thank you, Your Honor. And retroactive child support of $3,392, judgment in that amount, payable at $55 per month, also beginning on January 1st, 2024. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor, for the confusion, sorry, State. Uh, I just want everything to be clear. All right. If you would uh, prepare that order, Mr. Tatum, and yes, uh, email you a copy of that, uh, Mr. Lomax. If you have no additional questions, you can press leave and you're free to go. Thank you, sir. This court has no authority to direct your daughter, who's an adult, to uh, meet you to facilitate parenting time with the dog.
I've contacted the uh, pension office. There's over a million dollars there. 